Hello, my peeps. <laughs> this is a very brave Tracy here with you this morning. This afternoon, I guess, technically now. For Products on Parade. And yes, we're going live on Facebook because I am so tired of fighting with technology. Now, I am late for many reasons. <laughs> um, one of which I will just tell you to begin with. Um, because it might all of a sudden put an end to things. This is, so this is my incredibly messy desk and this is my problem. And this is my like most amazing and entertaining view is I get to look out at my front street. Well, this morning, hopefully there's nothing like untoward on any of what I'm showing you. Um, across the street, you'll notice the big trailer and the truck. Well, my neighbor has decided to pack his trailer and get ready for holidays. He did not clear this with Rascal. So Rascal has been running back and forth and back and forth to the window and has finally stopped barking at him for, you know, packing without permission on the street. So that's been entertaining. Um, so then once he got everything kind of packed up and ready to go, um, it was time to take out the motorcycle, which is very loud. And, and this is all completely fine. He's all on his own property. He's all doing his own thing. It's just made it very loud in my office this morning and very challenging for me. So add to that that um, Merrick, my son, had a PD day on Monday. And so for the entire week, I have not known what day of the week it is. And I forgot I had a training course this morning. And you guys, I was trying to multitask during the training course. But the course I took was so much fun. And I had to pay attention because it's actually easier than I thought it was going to be. So you just wait until I get playing and start making stuff. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. So in the meantime, <laughs> this is as far as I got on my project. So for today's products on parade, we have too many things because Tracy can't decide. So I'm going to follow up and make some things and maybe make a video. I am working this weekend um, helping out with wildfire. I, I thought that was for today, but that is actually tomorrow because tomorrow is Saturday. Today is Friday. Again, blame it on the PD day. So I didn't even put everything away. So here's what we have. Uh, I'm not sure what's on my desk. I better be very careful. I have notes. I have things everywhere. So this is one of the die sets called Timeless Arrangements. And this is one of the die sets called oops, Countryside Corners. And this is the stamp set called Phrases for All. Now, I, I started to use this the other day for these adorable cards. Nothing gets put away. You see this? This is like things I have to either do, send, or take pictures of. Uh, there's some projects there I haven't quite done yet. Here's the ones from the other day because I didn't have time. If you saw on my personal page, it was my son's grade nine farewell last night, and it was so much fun. Uh, anyways, I used... Oops, that was kind of hard on the eyes, wasn't it? I used this the other day, and all I did was use the little tiny phrases in it. I actually bought it because I loved these big, bold phrases, and I could see making some like really easy cards with it. Yeah, easy is a relative term because I start, and then I started adding everything. So I got this far, and I started matching up what went with what, and I liked the dyes, and I was kind of using both, but then I wanted to use this. So here's what, here's what I'm going to give you for options. I don't have any really good pictures. Um, okay, so just to give you an idea, too, I'll tell you why I got so distracted by these. So these are the Timeless Arrangements dies. And so this is what, like, one of the dies looks like this, and then the one that kind of coordinates with it, I guess looks like this. So you'll notice this little piece here though, right? So when it cuts out a piece, uh, which one is that one? I think that one's the white one. So when it cuts out a piece, you know, let's, just, let's just make my desk even messier. It cuts this piece out like this, right? And then the little standalone one does this. Why you say? Because it also comes, here I'll use one that's not white, In hindsight. Um, because it also comes with these labels. Oh my god, I hope I'm not making anybody sick because I just realized I'm like not doing a very good job of holding this camera at all still. <clears throat> but like I said, I'm tired of fighting. YouTube still won't let me have permissions. And Facebook, I still have not figured out. And every time I ask my IT department, he just rolls his eyes at me. Because I can't figure out why my Facebook won't stream anymore from OBS. Anyway, so they tuck in behind, right? And you can add as much as you want behind your labels. And then there's just a little place here that you can that you can glue them to. Now there's all these different varieties and different label sizes, and they'll work with all labels. 
goodness, I'm trying to do things right-handed and left-handed and trying to hold the camera still. And it was a lot on a Friday. But this is the beauty of this set is you can layer till your heart's content. It actually comes with a stamp set that has a ton of sentiments in it and a couple more graphics and stuff. Um, but honestly, I just looked at it and went, oh, I love all these little things that I can tuck behind. Because I love the look of like tucking the things in behind. Okay, not that particular look, but um, but sometimes it's so much work to get the right ones and you punch things and you cut them down and then you try to get them to stick. And Look at this. I can make a whole bunch of things. I put it behind a label. Like, isn't this? It's so much fun. Anyways, so that's Timeless Arrangements. These dies are going to be, oops, sorry. Um, yeah, we'll just push those out of the way. They're going to be a staple. As you can tell, I have gone through, oh, I should have, I left it in. These little ones here are, are like one of the smallest ones. Is or it's, Well, it's, here, I'll go over here. It's this smallest one. It's not this teeny tiny flag one. It's the smallest one. I punched or die cat, I guess they're not punches, 25 of these the other day, because I love the shape of this. I love that it's, it's like a rectangle for all your sentiments, but it's got the little trimmed corners. Now, when this set first came out, and we saw it in the catalog, I couldn't remember what it's called. So triangles with the corners cut off is what, is what I was, or sorry, rectangles with the corners cut off is what I was calling it. And, and at first, this is what I saw. And you can see I cut a whole bunch of white ones already. Um, I did that right when I first got it because I knew I would use them for various different things. But they also make these really cool frames. There's also a stamp set that comes with this one. They can make like your little stamp frames um, have little patterns on them. But you can also make beautiful layers cut out of DSP. And there are many, there are many very graphic things I've seen demonstrators do with these dies, as well as just really cool stuff. Like you make this into a, a frame and then put something in it. Or I was kind of gonna test out with, make the frame smaller and just put like a smaller frame in it. Again, I can't, I'm having a hard time doing anything one-handed. So anyways, there's lots you can do with this one. They make really good, I've made a few cards with it already. They do um, good easel cards. So many, many things. And then when I got this stamp set, again, it was the big, I don't know why I keep moving those things in so fast. It was the big sentiments that were like the most appealing to me. But then I, the more I realize that the the more fun I'm going to have with just the tiny ones or the combination thereof. So my question for you now is phrases for all. I'm going to try to do this without getting anything on the floor. What do you think the odds are? Oh, it actually worked. Uh, not that it's going to help in here. I'm going to turn my camera. Can I do that live? Or did everything go wonky? I don't even know. So here are three options. Actually, there's four options. Would you like me to pick one of these three products? Phrases for all, timeless arrangements, dies, or countryside corners dies, and just deep dive into one of them and show you all the different things you can do. Or would you like option four of, hey, just use them all and show how they go together. <laughs> show little bits and pieces and tips of each. Now, this is gonna be a video and I will make it over the course of the next day or so. Uh, let's okay let's be honest I'm working this weekend so you know I'm going to be tired again because I'm so out of practice with working um I'm going to turn this back again sorry I'm going to warn you this time and do it slowly um so probably by Monday I will have my Friday video done let's just let's just be honest um so yeah pick one of the three things or all four of them and just little bits of each because I have some tips for you I can show you how what not to do ta-da um, I can show you what to do. I can show you other things I've learned just by seeing other people play with these things as well. So vote now. <laughs> Actually, when I, when I, I think I can go back into, it's been so long since I did an actual just Facebook live. I don't know, but I think I can go back in and just edit onto this thing and give you the three, the options number one, two, three, and four, and then you can just vote one, two, three, four, and then I'll make a video. Here's a little teaser for you. The course I took this morning, making videos and editing them. And again, I ask my IT department frequently if he will help me with a video, if I try to make a video or to do any kind of editing. And I get the eye roll and I'm, I get that. I already showed you that once. But he shows me in like different programs and he goes at you know, mock speed. But in Canva, and you know me, I've told you before, I am a fan of Canva. I learned how to do all this stuff in Canva 
and it seems it seems easy to do. So I cannot wait to start playing. <laughs> so um, yeah, with all my heart, thank you for your patience with my technical difficulties and wonky things that are happening this week. Um, I will let you uh, go so you can all go vote and so I can see what I can actually do. Oh, look at that. I picked up a stamp set with my case. Um, and then, yeah, I will work on the stuff in my free time over the weekend and I will have a snazzy, I'm going to, I'm going to call it right now. It's going to be a snazzy video for you come Monday, um, with some whatever based on what you vote. All right. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> have a great weekend and, uh, yeah. Take care. Stay cool. Bye.